Hello and welcome to Cookies Kitchen. Myself Prabal. Today I came with a recipe which is Indian uh, chicken curry, which is more like gravy type. It's not uh, as thin as curry. It will be like more like gravy type. So in order to have, I have few ingredients. Um, uh, chicken definitely as it's chicken curry and I have uh, ginger garlic paste I have yogurt and I have some chili powder I have some turmeric powder I have some um, uh, coriander powder and I have some uh, garam masala which is nothing but um, mix of cinnamon and cardamom cloves and I have salt and I have olive oil uh, so you can either use olive, olive oil or you can use soybean oil or, or you can use um, some um, canola oil so it's your choice and I have tomatoes and I have um, two onions so I'm going to start uh, with cutting onions uh, into slice so you need to cut the onion into slices so that um, we we'll get juice out of it with chicken. You don't need to make it fine slices. I mean, you can just do the rough slices. So I'm done with cutting onions. So I'm gonna keep it aside. So next I'm gonna cut tomatoes. I'll be cutting tomatoes in fine chop. So so I'll cut this way so that it will melt with the chicken and we'll have a nice gravy. And I'll, I'll use two tomatoes. So now I'm gonna mix all other ingredients with the chicken. Uh, so there's two basic rules. I'm gonna add all the ingredients with chicken except salt and tomatoes. So that will be added later when I'll be cooking. I'll tell you when you need to add salt and when you need to add um, tomatoes. So in order to mix up the chicken with all other ingredients, I'm gonna use a hand gloves. I recommend to use a hand gloves because um, you'll have all this chili powder, which is like very spicy, your hand might burn. So I'm gonna use the hand gloves for that. And then I'm gonna start with ginger garlic paste. That's good enough. And I'm going to add some chili powder. One spoon should be good enough. And I'll add some turmeric powder. You can add very little turmeric powder because you don't want the color yellow, you want the color like, like radish. And you can add some um, coriander powder you can you can add uh, like uh, less than uh, chili powder and as I said I'm not going to use any salt for now I'm going to add all this uh, onion So I have few ingredients left, what I did not add here, uh, which is tomato and uh, yogurt, garam masala and salt. What I'll be adding later during the cooking. So now I'm gonna mix. You need to mix well so that all the spices will go inside the chicken. So 
So chicken is mixed well, so it's ready to cook. So now I'm gonna add olive oil in a pan where I'll be cooking chicken. So now I'm going to add chicken. I'm gonna add all of them together. And I'm going to use this to uh, mix it up well. So I'm, I'm going to cook uh, like this at least for 10 minutes without any lead. I'm not gonna add any lead. And after 10 minutes, I'm gonna add tomatoes and salt. And then again, I'll cook for another like two minutes without lead. And after that, I'll put a lead for like another 10 minutes. I think it's time to add um, tomatoes and salt. So now I'm gonna add the tomatoes that I have chopped. And I'm going to add some salt. And I'm gonna mix well. And as I, and as I said, I'm gonna wait for two minutes and then I'm gonna cover it for like another 10 minutes. So let's see how it looks. Wow. Yes, now it's time to add yogurt in it. I'll add two and a half. And I'm going to mix well. And then I'm going to add garam masala. So I have added garam masala and yogurt. Um, now I'll give another five minutes and I'm not gonna add the lid this time and I'm gonna cook in high flame and then we'll be done in five minutes. So it's been very interesting process so far. Um, now food is ready, let's give it a try. So I'm going to try with rice. You can try either with rice or any kind of bread. I have to tell you guys, it's really yummy. It's so good. Like proper spices and tomato and everything makes really good chicken gravy. So there you have it, chicken curry with rice. Um, you can also try and let me know how you like it and what's your experience dropping comments below and I'll see you next time